Hey, what's up YouTube? Quest here. Uh, it's been a while since my last video. Uh, I had some health issues. I was in the hospital for a week. Um, not COVID related or anything, but nonetheless, I'm 100% now. It's been three weeks since I was released. Had bad weather. I mean, it took me a while to get my strength back. Um, just even go back to work, but I had a nice day out. It's been raining for the past couple weeks here on and off every time I had a chance to get out it was raining so I figured I needed to get some more footage in um, I've been wanting to come to this place for a while I, just, I don't know why I just kept putting it off um, this is the local volunteer firefighters field it's used now for softball games concerts the building you see behind me is like a, um, a pole barn they turn into like a little picnic area slash concert hall uh, they have local bands come in and play and stuff like that I know that this was built in the 80s, but I talked to the guy who owns the property and he said that there used to be an old farm here. So we'll see with that, if he's right or not, but um, I'm gonna check it out nonetheless. It's real close to my house. Um, I'll see you at the first hole. Hopefully I can find something here. Thanks for watching guys. first hole I did a quick sweep of the entrance to this property that I have no idea what used to be here but right now it's a it's a field where they throw like field days and stuff like that and they have a concert hall and a softball field um, it's for the local volunteer fire department um, thought maybe I'd give it a shot got a couple pennies dimes things you would associate with people gathering in this place um then i got a nice 80 signal down deep and my attention was aroused so i dug it and i think i found a cut part of a coin now that is cut and i do see something on it I think this is a cut part of a large scent. I did see a number on it. I thought I saw 10. I'm gonna have to get this cleaned up and see if I can identify it. That is a cut coin. Well, now I'm definitely gonna have to Go slow around here. Well, hopefully I can find a whole large scent. Uh, I'm gonna keep digging and I will see you at the next hole. So after that uh, cut piece of coin that I found, I moved over a little bit around it. Got a really strong signal. I thought I had a large scent. It was 83, 84. Um, popped it out of the hole. It's an old cap. And there's still some remnants of some blue glass that was with it. This is old stuff. I mean, you see I, I mushed it a little bit. But that was me squeezing it trying to see how soft of aluminum this is. This is really, really strong. This is really thick aluminum. This was like an old cap to something. Um, and I found this with it. Look how thick that glass is. They just don't make glass like this anymore. The thick blue. This probably went right on there. I could probably match that right up with this. I 
So I'm beginning to think there might have been an old home site here. People used to bury their garbage back in the day. They didn't have garbage men coming around. They'd have to find a spot on their property, dig a hole, and throw their garbage in it. And you can usually find some complete bottles and stuff like that. I'm hoping that that's what I can find today. I mean, I'm only here 10 minutes and I found a cut piece of coin and some old garbage. So, it's telling me something else was here. Uh, what it was, I don't know. So, I'm going to keep digging see if I can put the mystery together and solve it. See you in the next hole, guys. Some more old stuff. This one wasn't even that deep. I'm surprised. Looks like an old gilt button. Possibly military. I don't know. I haven't really cleaned it up yet. Let's take a look at it. Oh. Look at that shiny. Still got lots of shiny on it. Full shank. There is a design on it. I can't really see. It's not an eagle, I don't think. There's writing on it. It's heavy, too. This one's definitely going to clean up real nice. And I'll take some pictures of it, and you'll see at the end of the video. Maybe I'll get an ID on it. Beautiful button. I'm in the right area. Definitely in the right area. Keep watching, guys. Well, I finally found some silver, sterling silver. It's a religious pendant. It says, have mercy on us, sterling. It's beautiful. I'll take it. I mean, silver, silver. I'll give this to my mom. Now I just need to find some silver coins. See you at the next hole, guys. What's up, YouTube? So, after doing the fireman's field, I shot a video, and I didn't really have a lot of footage, so I thought I'd make a part two. Today is that part two. I brought Pat with me. Um, we're just going to be cruising around hitting this whole outfield because I didn't even get into the outfield last time I was here. I stayed mainly in the areas where people parked and stuff like that. But let's see what we can get. What's up, guys? Came back to the old firefighter's field and I just got on a large scent. Check it. Get in the sun. There's still a little bit left on it. I see where it says one cent in the wreath right there. I'm not going to do too much to it right now. Let it dry out. Definitely gonna let the sun dry that out a little bit and probably see if I can brush it and maybe get a ID on it. If I get an ID on it, I'll be back on and show you. If I got multiple hits over here. I got like a 93, a couple feet over there. I'm wondering if there's an old spill here, so keep digging. Yes, sir. Number two, same area, I just slowed down really, really slow, covered it nice and uh, easy around the area. Started working my way out in concentric circle and popped another one. 86, it was ringing up just like a modern quarter. Haven't touched it yet, it's in the hole. Come on, pop right off of there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah.
Like I said, I don't want to rub it too much. The ground's really wet. I'm going to let it dry off. And I'll give you an ID when it's all dry. <laughs> Two large scents. This one I can definitely see stumping on. I don't think it's all the way smooth. Well, we'll see. See if I can't get a ID on it later. Thanks for watching, guys. So I'm in, definitely in an old area. I just pop what looks like it might be a button. There's no shank on it, but there's some writing on it. Tiny little thing. I thought it was a coin at first. That's where the shank would have been. It's an old button. I might be able to get some words off of there. And I'll take pictures of it like I do at the end and show you what I got. Not even five feet away from where I just popped that button, I found a matching pair. This one's got way more writing on it. Yep, I'll be able to definitely get something off this one. There's definitely some letters there. Can't really read it. We're losing daylight. And it's just like a pair of pants button. But I'm in an old area, so it's going to keep going slow right here because two large dents, two buttons, and I've got a twofer. Keep watching, guys. <laughs> got myself an old button here, another one. This one's got the shank on it. All flat on this side, but it's got full shank on that side right there. That's an oldie. This area is turning out to be pretty good. Keep watching, guys. Well, you said the, the copper colored car hit a, you guys hit a deer? Yeah. Another large scent. This one looks like it might have a little something on it. I want to rub it too much. That makes three. So we did end up running out of daylight on that day. That final large scent that you saw was the last find of the day. Um, I had so much luck here that I had a couple hours. I thought I'd kill and come out again and see what I can find out here. So this is actually going to be day three. Same location. One video. Thanks for watching, guys. So I've made a few passes around where I found the other coins the other days just to kind of slow down. Not really much um, modern penny, some can slaw, but I might have just popped a musket ball. It's a small one, but it looks like a musket ball to me. It's definitely got the nipple on it where it was put in, poured into a mold and has a seam. I'm gonna have to do more research on this. This might have been like just homemade buckshot. But there's the nipple where it was poured. There should be a crease somewhere. I don't think this is a fish sinker. It's definitely lead. Heavy. I'm going to have to look more into this, but I've never seen anything this small. But it's a definitely a projectile. The days are getting shorter now, and winter's almost here, so I'm losing sunlight already. I've only been here an hour and a half maybe at best and now i'm just gonna have to go into uh, panic mode and just start sweeping as fast as i can before it gets dark but um keep watching guys
Oh, as you can see, it's dark now. Um, I'm giving up. I didn't find any more large scents. Uh, a couple more little old buttons, but it was just too dark to get it on camera. So I'll just take some pictures of all the buttons. I found a ton of buttons out there, a lot of old stuff. Um, kind of disappointed that uh, no more large scents come out of there, but I'm sure there's more out there to find. I just got to come back. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.